Hi, I'm Rabbi Bach Spellman. I had the pleasure of teaching Eitan Verm in Chumash this year. Eitan, you were such a fantastic student. You were so sweet and so enthusiastic to learn every day, and I have such great hopes from you. Take all that energy and all of that enthusiasm and become a big Talmud Chacham. Mazel Tov on your graduation. Everybody knows what a great friend Alexa is and how much fun she is to be around. I want to tell you about Alexa's special gift of sharpness and clarity. Whenever we learn something complex or difficult in class, I know that I can always call on Alexa and count on her to be able to explain what we learned in a way that's clear and coherent so that everybody in the class can understand it. Thank you, Alexa, for always being my go-to person. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Tal. Tal always impresses me with her diligent work habits, enthusiastic approach to any problem, and her exemplary behavior. She is always curious to learn new things. She is one of my star students. We will miss you, Tal, next year. I'd like to talk about Benjamin Kaplan. Benjamin is a student who has a great sense of humor. He's a true mensch, and he's always willing to help others. He's so conscientious. In fact, when he contacts friends who are absent to see if they want him to record the class or help them cover the material, he'll stop me in the hall to let me know he'll be leaving early for a game, but he'll come to math lab to learn what he's going to miss. He'll even leave his phone for a classmate to video the class so he can learn what he misses. He has an extremely positive attitude, and he stays optimistic even when he's frustrated about not understanding something. He's always polite, and he thanks me for the lesson every day. It was also a real treat to watch him play basketball. He's quite multi-talented. In sixth grade, he gave himself the nickname B, standing for Benjamin. In eighth grade, he was frustrated one day with the material we were learning, and he renamed himself CC, which stood for Confused Coplin. Later that class period, once he understood the concept, he, re he redefined his nickname to stand for Clever Coplin. Benjamin always keeps us laughing. Yonatan Cohn is one of our most awesome eighth graders. I think when I think about Yonatan that one of his strengths is in the area of personal growth. Um, a situation that stands out in my mind is when he asked the teacher how he could improve his vocabulary in Talmud and on his own was motivated to increase his Gemara vocabulary which he understood would impact the level of his learning for many years to come. We'll miss you Yonatan next year. Good luck. Hi, my name is Greta El Melch, and I'm here to tell you why Malka is a wonderful student at our school. Malka has the midot of diligence and persistence. She is not afraid of hard work and pushes herself to achieve the best that she can. The midot of diligence is important for being successful in life because when there's a will, there's a way. And if you want something hard enough, you can make it happen. As the Pasuk in Eshet Chai says, Rabot banot asuchayil ve'at alita kulana. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Much as the high in the upper school, Malka. Hi, I'm Susan Alpenheim, and I'm here to talk about Evie Elegan, who I have known now for three years. She's also been one of my members of my first period class for three years. Um, I didn't really realize that there was a younger Elegan, because I taught other two and all I saw was this little tiny person in the lower school who was always coming and looking for her mother then she came to me in sixth grade and I have seen her now for the last three years and I must say that she has really become one of my best math students and I'm so proud of how she has gotten herself such confidence and can do all the things that she really needs to do. I'm, I'm going to miss her terribly next year, and I hope she has a good summer and a great year in high school. The Mishnah in Pirkei Avot says that Hashem is ne'eman, to pay us our reward. He's trustworthy to pay our reward. Eyal, you are ne'eman to do your job. You've proven yourself each and every day to be so, so trustworthy. That's going to carry you a long way. Mazal tov. I'd like to congratulate Izzy Falk. Hey, wait a sec. I, Izzy, did you, did you press the right button? Is the right button on? Okay, good. Great, we got the right button on, Izzy. Just want to congratulate you and say how 
wonderful it has been to be your teacher the last two years. You have a wonderful student, a born leader who's demonstrated his leadership both in class and in our davening group. It's been a great pleasure to have you as a student and I wish you the best of luck and continued success as you continue your career as a student. Yael Grayson is a perfect example of a mensch. She is kind to everyone around her and quietly does what is expected of her. My first memory of Yael is when we went to the Blue Star restaurant. I think because she won a prize of some sort. I remember thinking, what an adorable and lovely girl. Yael, you have continued to make this impression on me throughout middle school. Even though you constantly tried to get out of a certain class, I won't mention which one here, I always appreciated you asking. Good luck next year in high school, we will miss you. Eli, it is an honor to share each morning with you in tefillah. You are a holy leader. You are blessed with a beautiful voice, a charismatic spirit, and what a gift for Torah reading. You are a role model to your peers, and you lift my day each morning when I arrive at school. May you be blessed to go deeper and deeper, higher and higher, and only taste the sweetest of the sweet. Mazel tov. Shalom, my name is Rini Isser and I'm here to talk about Tamar Israel. Tamar is a very sweet and kind person and always tries to please everyone around her, including her teachers. She's a tremendous Baalat Chesed and is always willing to help her friends when they're in need. I love seeing her in the morning when she's sitting with her friends in the hallway. They're all sitting together on their phones and talking to one another and texting before school starts. But she always has that special smile on her face. Tamar, we'll miss you very much in the middle school next year. We wish you much Hatzlacha next year in the high school. I'm very happy to speak about Hannah Kennedy today. She is a lovely, fun young lady who's very creative. She comes into the classroom and doesn't want to just complete a project. She wants to put sparkles and put it on a big poster and make it something really exciting. And I really think that this is going to be a talent that's going to take her through a lifetime. That wonderful sense of creativity and joy she brings to everything. And I want to wish you so much luck in your future, Hana. And it's been my pleasure to get to know you. All the best. Hi, my name is Gavira Delamelech and I'm here to tell you why Gabriella Linfield is a wonderful student at our school. Gabriella has the medal of Derek Eretz. She always comes to class with a big smile and her face is always lit up. The medal of Noam Alichot, pleasant manners, is important for being successful in life because one smile can change the world. I want to give you this bracha from Tehillim. Ve'aya ke'etz shatul al palgemaim, asher periyo iten bi'itu, he shall be as a tree planted beside rivulets of water, which brings forth its fruit in its season, and its leaves do not wilt, and whatever he does prospers. Much at Sahain the upper school, Gabriella. Not only an excellent student and a strong and great speaker, but he also loves to help his peers. This midah of Israel Zulat is very important not only because it is a mitzvah, but also because it is a personal fulfillment. Niv also has a bright smile that lights up your day. Niv, I enjoyed teaching you this year. I wish you b'hatzlacha in the upper school, and may you always continue smiling. It gives me great pleasure to talk about Binny Margulies. Mazel tov, Binny, on your graduating eighth grade. Vinny is a boy who has grown, and I mean grown, a lot since he came into middle school. No, no, not that kind of grown. Well, maybe yeah, but he's a boy who always has a smile on his face, is ready to help. He's a great chazan. He's really a really, really big asset to his class. Mazel tov and much hasloha in high school. There is nobody who jumps out to me as the expert in sensitivity to others' feelings, like Daniela Shields. She always has this amazing sense about how somebody else is feeling and how much she cares about them. I feel like when I teach Daniela in class, I have to be super careful and sensitive to somebody else's feelings because Daniela will call me on it. 
she's so caring about the other that it's a lesson for me and frankly for everyone in the class to learn from how much we need to care about others. This year we had the pleasure of having Rachel Schoen in our class and in addition to being an incredible artist who could draw anything on the front board without any practice, um, she is, um, adds um, an optimism and a positive energy to our classroom and just makes it a much brighter place for all the students, how she interacts with them and makes it and uh, adds her happiness to the, our classroom, which is a great benefit to our class and we're sure that she'll take that um, with her next year and benefit the high school. I have the honors of talking about Tikva. I really enjoyed having Tikva in my class this year. Seeing her think deeply about different ideas that we learn, but Tikva also has a contagious laugh about her that as soon as you see her laughing, you have to join in right away. Tikva, you have the ability to bring joy wherever you go, and your desire for understanding and connecting to life will take you far. We're going to miss your smile and laugh next year. Please come visit Tikva and enjoy high school next year. Hi, my name is Rabbi Weissman, and I'm here to talk about David Trencher. David is everyone's buddy. Everybody knows that if they need something, Dove is their man. He brings such humor and thoughtfulness to, to everything, and everybody always benefits from having Dove in the room. That's Lachlan High School. It is a pleasure to interact with all of our middle school students. That's one of the reasons why I love coming to work. One student who stands out amongst the crowd is Paula Unger. She's always pleasant and expresses her eagerness to learn. When having conversations with her, she speaks highly of her teachers and classmates. One fun fact about Paula is she loves to dance. I wish her much success next year in high school. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ohedka, and I have the good fortune to talk about Arielle Wasserstein. I have had Arielle for three years, and he started in sixth grade a little nervous and a little apprehensive about being in the middle school, and he leaves here a confident young man who is always a part of the conversation and includes his ideas eloquently, and I've been so lucky to have gotten to know him. Good luck next year. Rowan came to us from Baltimore and has been and continues to be an excellent addition to this group. Darone has an ability to keep his cool and remain calm even when those around him are acting up. Darone is one of those guys that everyone likes and he has a gift of being able to get along well with anyone around him. Darone, I really enjoyed getting to know you and see how much you mean to your friends. I know that your fun nature combined with your kindness will take you very far in life. Good luck in high school, we'll miss you. Yoshi, otherwise known as Yoshmeister in our class, finally a nickname you can call your own. I will always remember you for your powerful and compassionate TED Talk, your patience with my Luddite ways, and your thought-provoking essays. Fortunately for you, when we created movie trailers for the library, you gave us a tutorial since I am so technologically phobic, and you impressed us with your Minecraft trailer, the most creative and difficult trailer I was fortunate to watch. Thank you for appreciating our class and being a willing participant in many of the ninth period forms of experiential learning. Best of luck, Yoshi. I'll miss you, and don't forget us. Mazel tov, the rabbi Chaim Soloveitchik. Chaim, who's going to ask me questions after every mincha? Now that you're going to high school, who's going to make sure that the sidurim are sitting the right way in the base medrash? Who's going to make sure that talisim are folded properly? In general, Chaim, it was always great to have you in class. You asked the most insightful questions. And your derech eretz was second to none. Chaim, much hatzlacha next year and the years after. And of course, never stop asking those beautiful, difficult questions.